Hi there, this is Sheena Raylands and today I'm sharing with you my latest Hey Little Magpie layout featuring Vicky Bootin's Fernwood range. This one piece of paper that you see in front of me, this is the beef side in fact that you're looking at, is the Wonderful Things paper and from the moment I saw it I knew exactly what it reminded me of. So the photo of, of um, the photo that you can see on the layout there is a picture of my parents before they were married wearing matching hand-knitted jumpers by my dad's mum, so my nan. Now even though we can't see the colour in this black and white photo obviously my mum assures me that these uh, two jumpers were in shades of green and they were knitted specially for them to match. Now isn't that all, that how wonderful, that makes me feel all warm um, that while they were, while they were courting as I'm sure they called it then this was um, a present from my nan to them so we're not quite sure of the year of the photograph but it's definitely um, early to mid 60s anyway so the so going back to the paper this paper reminded me of the cable knits that was running down this jumper um, and I thought yeah, so this paper isn't meant to be the, the zigzags are meant to go across, but I've turned it to go down to match the patterns in the jumpers in the photograph. So I'm just having a look um, at how I want this layout to work. I want the photo to be near the bottom. I've taken the title from the um, alphabet set that comes with this. It's the uh, Puffy Thickers. And I was going to use Everyday Stories, but then I've changed it to Stories of Us, which is in fact the name of the, the puffy stickers. So my idea is actually to sew down each of these zigzags. Now, when you first look at it, you can't really tell them apart, but actually there is six zigzags running down this page, three in blue and three in green. So I dig out all my embroidery threads that might match this. And then I set about literally trying to match the tone with the ones that I already own and that's what you can see me doing there putting all the rejects on the right while I pick all the colours that I like on the left so when I'm happy I get the uh, my pokey tool and a foam mat and I start to put holes in the zigzags now Initially I was going to do all the holes but then I decided this would be way too complicated. Sorry, do all the zigzags. So basically I've worked on one zigzag at a time. I've started with this pale green one and that's me showing you the holes you can't see and that's all the sewing. Now that's taken me three evenings in front of the TV because every time, I, I, when I print the holes, every time two lines crossed or two zigzags crossed I wanted their stitch to go into that point to make it easier when I use different colours. So I've used a ruler to help me um, position the um, stitch holes evenly to just to give it a, an even uh, look to it. So I started on the right with the pale green and I worked my way over slowly towards the pale blue. And as I say, it did take me three evenings, but I tend to do it in front of the TV. So it's not too big a deal. So consequently, after doing all that stitching, I don't really want to cover it all up but I do want to tell the story of the jumpers. So I'm having a look in the stash, picking out the blues and the greens and um, looking to put some tags on either side of the photograph, even if I have to uh, cut them myself. Some have come off the pattern papers and others are scraps because this isn't the first layout that I've made with the uh, Fernwood range and I absolutely love it. Um, so that that tab you just see there on the right, I really wanted to use it but and it moves around the page repeatedly but because of the shape of the tags and the shape of the tab being quite different in the end it doesn't make it on the with the final cut. I'm also thinking about an embellishment cluster in the bottom left hand corner um, in shades of blue to go with the blue side and the green side but I don't want it to be too much um, because for me it's about seeing the photograph and the stitching behind it. I do mount the photograph on a piece of pattern paper which is like painterly striped and that's actually the packaging from one of the stencils. Uh, I'm going to use foam pads to lift the photo up because 
I want some of the tags to be real and some of them to be fake. So I need there to be a pocket behind the photograph. So I use the foam to place the photo into position and then I can uh, go from there getting the tags sorted. So I don't know whether you've ever spent this much time working on a layout. It's not unusual for me if I'm honest. Uh, I'm quite happy to sit and play when I get the time. Because I work shifts, I don't always get a lot of time in one go. So sometimes stay, something stays on my desk and I can come and go um, to um, keep working on it. So sometimes if you watch one of my videos, you'll find that the colour of my sleeves change because it's more than one day's worth of uh, filming. But that's OK. It's just the way uh, things are. So I've trimmed the tags down on the left, the blue ones, and I've stuck them into position. So they're actually faux tags. They're not actually working. And I'm seemingly happy with the little cluster that's coming together. So I'm going to stick the title words down over the top. These are really nice because I can actually curve that a little bit because it's got some like spring to it. So really pleased with the way it's stuck down over the sewing as well. So uh, yeah, that's come together really well. So I'm going to, looks like I'm looking at the cluster. So I, the flower was a die cut. It had got like a um, paper clip on the bottom of it and I just trimmed that off. And the flare was uh, on a paper clip, but I took that off. So I've just popped the tags in on the right. I won't show you the journaling. There's more than just about who knitted the jumper, but here is all the close-ups. I hope you like this layout and the way I've used this paper. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more of what I make. Otherwise, um, bye for now and we hope to see you again soon. Take care.